Josh Hawley is one of just over a dozen GOP senators who is very explicitly coming out against democracy and is refusing to certify the results of the November election. Taking a stand and basically saying, I don't believe in democracy anymore. I think that we should have a monarchy and Trump should be king. And that's what they're doing. Because if, if they were successful in this laughable effort, which is inevitably going to fail, and they got what they wanted, it would end democracy as we know it. So by coming out and putting their names on the record, I think that's good because we need to know who the authoritarians are. But this is outrageous. And for the record, these are the individuals who are very explicitly admitting that they don't support democracy. They're against democracy. So the fact that there are that many, I mean, even though thankfully most Republicans aren't on board with this, the fact that there's more than a dozen, that tells you this party is so far gone, so extreme that they were irredeemable. And the only way to save America might be for the party to collapse. If it doesn't collapse, then I don't know how we go forward as a country when you have some individuals now who are quite literally against democracy. So it's outrageous. Like, even though it's going to fail, it's still outrageous. We need people to buy into the system and believe in democracy. So it's, we know what this is. This is political posturing. Ted Cruz is the one who's leading this effort. We know he hates Donald Trump. But they're doing this because they want to be the heirs to the Trump throne. This is them telling Trump's base, listen, I am a Kool-Aid drinker. I'm part of the cult. Accept me. I'm even doing this. I'm literally trying to stop democracy from happening. That's how much I support Donald Trump. Please let me be the next president. Please let me be the next Donald Trump. That's what this is about. But regardless of what this is about, even if it's for political expediency, this is dangerous. This is bad for democracy to have anyone, even if it's political theater, trying to stop democracy. That's bad. And people are angry about it, rightfully so. So there was a small group of individuals that showed up in front of Josh Hawley's house to protest. And this is what he claims happened. Quote, tonight, while I was in Missouri, Antifa scumbags came to our place in D.C. and threatened my wife and newborn daughter who can't travel. They screamed threats, vandalized, and tried to pound open our door. Let me be clear. My family and I will not be intimidated by left-wing violence. So he's saying that in response to people who are rightfully outraged that he supports authoritarianism, they tried to do violence. Thank God they weren't successful. Like, they tried to pound down the door with his wife and newborn. I mean, what were they going to do? Like, beat him up? Like, what was the end game here, right? This sounds really serious. Except the problem is that he's a liar. What happened in actuality is like nine people showed up and they held a candlelight vigil. And this is what shut down DC. The group who organized the event said it was as well. It was less than an hour, and they did a candlelight vigil. To which Holly responded, saying, Now, quote unquote, vigil means screaming threats through bullhorns, vandalizing property, pounding on the doors of homes, and terrorizing innocent people and children. So, regardless of what shut down DC says, he is maintaining that this wasn't some peaceful candlelight vigil. This was a violent event. It sounds like Antifa extremists showed up to his home with pitchforks. They vandalized his property and uh, they were threatening his wife. Um, he's lying and it's not just that he's lying. He got caught lying. Even the police in the area who responded to the event are saying... This isn't what happened. As the St. Louis Post-Dispatch reports, police say protesters outside Senator Josh Hawley's home were peaceful. And they explain, officers were called to Hawley's home in Vienna, a Washington suburb, around 7.45 p.m. after someone reported that there were people protesting in front of the house. Officers who responded to the scene found that the people were peaceful, said Master Police Officer Juan Vasquez, a spokesman for the town of Vienna Police Department. Vasquez said the protesters had been violating several laws, including a Virginia code about picketing in front of a house, a town ordinance about making noise in front of a home, and a littering code. But he said the officers explained the violations and everyone just left. There were no issues, no arrests, he said. We didn't think it was that big of a deal. That's the police that are saying this. We didn't think it was that big of a deal. That is a quote verbatim. But Josh Hawley is saying, I'm the victim. They vandalized my property. They threatened me. They were pounding on my door trying to get in. This is serious. But the police say, no. 
But if you don't believe the police, and if you're a right-winger, I'm assuming you do because you always talk about backing the blue, right? So you're going to believe that they're trustworthy. If you don't believe the police, then I've got more for you. We have the entire 50-minute long video where the protesters filmed the event. And these are some moments from the event. You're going to see how hostile these Antifa extremists were. Um, what's the, what's the first chant you're going to lead us in? Well, I... Holy, holy, what do you say? How many votes are you suppressing today? <laughs> All right. I don't know. That's one. I, I'll come up with others. <laughs> okay. Um, we, we got a couple blocks. <laughs> so, I welcome the... Uh, we do have I like blocks. you and It's like spooky. It's like Halloween colors, too. <laughs> I just got me. With the candles, it looks kind of sweet. Mm -hmm. Does it? No, okay. So I think I can go for it. Okay. Holy, holy, shame on you! Biden, Harris, through and through! Holy, holy, shame on you! Biden, Harris, through and through! Due diligence has been done! Biden, Harris, have won! Due diligence have been done. Biden Harris have won. Our government is allowing thousands of individuals to come to our city with no mask on, knowing that our coronavirus cases are big as hell. So therefore, we're going to hold people accountable and hold political officials accountable who are trying to swindle the election, swindle democracy, and don't give a rat's ass about the American people. So when democracy is under attack, what do we do? What do we do? When democracy is under attack, what do we do? What do we do? So I'm sorry that our voices are fighting for democracy is an inconvenience to your lives. But let me tell you something. The black and brown lives that are being brutalized and murdered in the United States by the United States government, that's why we're here. Well, I mean, after seeing that, I totally understand why he feared for his family's life. I mean, when you have this small group of people chanting pro-Biden and Harris slogans, I mean, clearly, I can't help but think these must be Antifa extremists because we know how much the far left and Antifa love Joe Biden. <laughs> <laughs> and in case you missed it, there was a glimpse of the vandalism he was referring to. Of course, it's this. <laughs> Chalk on the sidewalk where they wrote Trump lost. That is what I'm guessing, anyways, that he interpreted as a uh, as vandalism. And this is what I'm assuming he said uh, was them trying to pound down his door. Uh, I don't even know if they were knocking. I couldn't tell in the video. It looked like they were like setting down a sign and a candle on his doorstep. But it doesn't necessarily look like there's this angry mob of people trying to pound down his door and break into his home. But I mean, in case you're wondering, uh, because I'm a far left extremist, if I'm just like cherry picking certain moments from the event that don't actually fully encapsulate the protest. Well, let's uh, scrub through it real quick. I'll link you to the full video down below. But as you can see, uh, they discuss their protest in the parking lot, talk about what they want to say. They then walk towards his house. They stand outside with some bullhorns. A cop comes and says that it's illegal to protest in front of residential areas. Areas, they politely say that they'll leave and then that's it they leave and that's all that happened but he's the victim guys the right-wing persecution complex is real they desperately want to be the victims so that way you know normal americans feel sympathetic towards them so they don't feel as angry when they see them fucking us over and uh literally trying to overthrow democracy and like for what you're doing if I was a politician and I was literally trying to stage a coup and overthrow democracy, I would be thankful that that's the harshest form of protest that we see. He should be thankful that they're not trying to, like, get him to resign and they're protesting in his office in Congress every single day. But you try to overthrow democracy and that's the worst you get and you're still mad? It's just unbelievable. Either you buy into our system of democracy believe that us voting who our leaders are is what we should continue doing or you don't but when you try to take away the voice from the people they will express their anger by yes sometimes protesting in front of your house 
It got your attention, didn't it? It worked. You seem to be listening. So I don't know uh, what else to say. Uh, Josh Hawley, he's lying about this and he was busted lying, but he's still lying. If this doesn't tell you that Josh Hawley is a liar and a fraud, then nothing else will. Mike is a total loser, so don't hit the subscribe button, okay? And whatever you do, folks, do not hit the notification bell either. Mike treats me so unfairly.